Okay, I think I'm starting to get a handle on what this smart searching is all about. So uh, I've tried to look at as much information as possible. Um, I will say that, that MP Seminars has a series on these new features. I don't have access to the MP Seminars. I, I don't pay for their subscription. But if you have a subscription, you can go there and you can look at what they have to say. So I have no clue. Uh, what they have to say but as, as i'm looking at the help file here in logos and as i'm looking at the uh, the help file that is online uh, i think i'm starting to get a clue as to what this smart searching is supposed to do it's uh, according to uh, the online help center so let me pull this over here it says that it's designed to enable natural language queries so you're just going to be typing in something more natural um, so for example um, who was who was Aquinas so I'm gonna type this in and it seems like what's going on is it's trying to examine my question and look at the meaning behind the, the question or what I'm typing in there versus looking for the precise wording and the precise language and I think we get a clue when we look at this, it, the smart search versus precise. So in precise, it's going to look for the exact words, language, you know, the syntax. Uh, you can you can say, I want to find this word before that word or within five words or whatever. So you can get very detailed, very specific. This seems to be much more general. And what it's trying to do, at least from my limited exposure at this point playing around with it is it's trying to interpret the the meaning behind the question or whatever you're typing in there so who was Thomas Aquinas it's going to give me the first 50 results it's going to try to give me the the most relevant first <clears throat> as it's interpreting my words so it seems to be a general way kind of like Google if you were to go to Google type in a search in Google it's it seems to be much more that mentality here so um, again you're typing in general questions so um, so tell me about Mount Sinai and here I've got a bunch of articles on Mount Sinai and again you can hit the summarize which I do like this feature um, and it'll summarize the information in there to see if you're going to even open that up. Open up the Holman and then open it up there. I like that it highlights it. So it's telling me here about Mount Sinai. That's great. So I think that's the, the purpose of this. If you were going to do a Google search for something biblical or theological or something, it, it, it appears that that's what this is kind of trying to do is give you a general search and examine your question or your prompt and try to get behind it the meaning behind it at the moment it doesn't seem to handle complex questions so simple questions where is mount sinai located but you can't start adding other things to it where was mount sinai located and how old was moses It's having a hard time parsing through the complexity of the question. It may very well give me some some insight, and I'd have to kind of take my time and look at this, but it doesn't seem to do well with complex questions. It seems to do far better with very simple questions or prompts, uh, sentences in here, tell me about this person, who was that person, where is this located? Don't make it very lengthy. Don't make the questions complex. So shorter, more concise language. I think the smart search does better. Now, I'm still playing with this. I'm still trying to work through it, but I figured I'd give a little bit of an update because I think I'm starting to understand better what this search feature is all about. It's more in line with a general Google search. So use it for that. Make your prompts, your questions short and concise, and it seems that it will deliver 
more value. Uh, the longer the, the, the wording is, uh, the more complex the wording is, doesn't seem to handle it very well. All right, hopefully that's been helpful. God bless.